Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. On this year's strategy game, and we are returning to Let's Play of War in the West. So, let's see where we stand in Italy and what the situation is. So, I've uh, advanced through the German turn. Um, as you can see, the Germans did sort of what we expected. They tried to break out from this little encirclement over here that we've got on excuse me, uh, this part of the front. I don't think the battles here were that uh, harsh for us. Only 60 men lost about uh, four tanks. Another 20 men lost there. It's really not a big attack over here. They were really pretty exhausted. So the 15th Panzer Grenadier Division here did uh, take a little bit of a blunt, but that's about it. Now they have rearranged their front line quite a bit and they pulled out uh, the SS Panzer Grenadier Division that was down here and which we very strongly reinforced this position and they pulled these troops back over here. And as we sort of expected, they are occupying the mountain passes now and that's kind of a bummer for us because we would really have liked to break through to Bologna um, and into these plains here in northern Italy uh, because that would just have been a lot more efficient than what we're doing now um, which is going to be to try to advance up here and fight through these mountains. So, it's not ideal but we can do some things and that is of course we're going to try to bot these guys over here um, and we've set up of course a couple of air patrols. Firstly we're going to shift our attack here uh, from the naval patrols who will be in this area here close to Rimini um, and the reasoning here is that we are potentially at some point um, going to encircle them, I don't know but at that point it would be great if they would count it as isolated so let's see whether we can do that on this part of the front line. Uh, we are trying to attack a couple of, yeah, 400 airplanes um, on basically these two units, so maybe we can clear out these mountain passes a little bit. Um, I certainly hope that we can, but I'm not sure. It's not a strong unit that they've got over here, but it's a unit in good terrain, in um, snowy conditions, so I'm very, very uh, reluctant to see whether that is going to work out. We're also going to disrupt these troops down here, because we think that if we can push up on this right flank, these guys here uh, might be in trouble, so there's going to be a ground attack here, which is mostly focused on uh, interruption, so I think that's going to be okay, because if you look very closely here, uh, on the right side of our front line, we do see that they've got the uh, 1027th Motorized Brigade, and they've got a little bit of a in reserve infantry division, but that's basically it. That's all that they've got on this part of the front line, um, and if we, if we look at that a little bit more closely, all of these guys down here now source all of their supplies from this ray line that passes through Farno. If we can push back these guys and potentially break through it a little bit, or at least even get only over here and capture this hex, we might be able to cut off their rail supplies. Now that would mean that these guys all need to withdraw, and that would mean um, that they would need to withdraw through interdiction area. So I think that would be uh, pretty fantastic if we can be successful down here. There are a couple of further missions because weather has cleared up. So it is now February. January was a completely wasted month for us in terms of bombardment in Northern Europe. But the weather has cleared up. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to send the 15th Air Force, which we've basically shifted forward a little bit here to the Forgia area. And these guys are now going to try to fly, not to Romania, but over Croatia and into Austria. They're going to come around this lake over here and they're going to bomb this location just north of Vienna. Um, and this is an area that is pretty strongly located in the oil industry. So you can see um, there's a, quite a bit of oil production down here. These are basically four plants of, of in total 24, 24 oil production. That's pretty significant. It's not quite as much as in Romania. Uh, but it still would be nice to basically strike them over here. There are a couple of smaller fields down here as well, uh, but I don't think we need to be too concerned with them. I'm very much concerned with the area around Volkendorf over here, and they're going to just try to bomb over there with 540 planes. That's going to be all right. We can nearly escort them all the way, uh, but not quite. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but I think it's going to be all right. So that is that. Then we're going to do a little bit more in, in terms of bombardment. So the second bombardment group it's going to try to come over here to Blackhammer. Um, again, these things are, I think at this point, pretty much pretty much repaired from the German side. Yeah, you can see the synthetic fuel production here is completely repaired. So we do need to come back here and destroy that. But by this point, the second bombardment group is actually fairly strong. This is 420 bombers just in the second bombardment group. I think initially in the game, 
this was about the entire strength of the 8th Air Force. Um, yeah, not anymore. We are a little bit stronger now. The rest of the 8th is going to bombard the area around Leipzig here. And that's pretty much mostly Merseburg, but I think also Sides. These are the areas here that we're going to strike. This is also on the synthetic fuel refinery in uh, Sides again. And over here in Merseburg. Merseburg is not fully repaired, but still 33%. At 50% they would basically stop uh, producing, so... Yeah, I think it would be great if we could strike these two areas here. And there's just basically the best way that I can fight to do that. Because we don't want to strike this area around over here. This is just a single uh, factory. So really, geez, these are the most important targets. And sometimes it's a little bit weird to do the setup like that. Uh, because in strategic bombardment, you can only select cities. So I couldn't select that hex. Looks a bit weird, but that's fine. We've got 980 bombers over here and 200 fighters. 120 of which are Mustangs. I'm really, really happy about these guys. With their drop tanks, these guys can make it all the way over here to Leipzig. So that's pretty nifty, I think. And uh, we're going to try to fly around the uh, heaviest concentration of air forces around there. Then we've got Bomber Command. These guys are going to continue their night bombardment. They're going to try to strike here um, at the area of Cologne. They're going to try to strike the vehicle yards there, the Ford Motor Factory that we've talked about a little bit. They're also going to try to attack the V-Weapon Factory here at Euskirchen. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the for Bomber Command. Again, a thousand bombers, so these guys are not to be messed with, but they are around. We're going to also try to fly some superiority missions here, during the day at least, by number 12 IF Group. We're going to try to fly an intruder mission here by Fighter Command, and then we're going to fly some more um, air missions here, trying to bring out mostly uh, the Ural Air Force and Fighter Command, to play with the Luftwaffe a little bit and reduce their fighting power. In the meantime, we are also going to start to prepare some of the grounds for our invasion. So, we've got the 9th Air Force. These guys are a little bit more the tactical bombers, uh, or medium bombers. Again, 300 aircraft, that's not that bad. Um, and these guys are going to fly over here, and they're going to mostly attack the rail yards and the ports, so that the Germans can source a little bit supply directly to these hexes. Um, and ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to try to ultimately push up the interdiction levels in these hexes um, to disrupt their supplies. And if they don't have any close supply sources, that would be fantastic. So that's basically for now the job of the 9th Air Force here over large territory. Uh, second RAF Force, also sort of a medium bomber tactical air force, is going to try to attack Paris itself and the rail yard over there, basically for the same reason that we want to prevent a little bit the supplies from being over here, but also the ability to reinforce. At the same time, we've got number six group, RAF. These are our Wellingtons. So these are our daylight bombers, uh, basically, which are okay-ish, but they're going to try to attack Amiens and Hasdin, uh, the respective V-weapon sites over there, so basically the V-1 launch sites that are in the area. Of course, there's also a strategic recon associated with all of that. Wait a minute, you are not strategic recon, are you? No, you are Bomb City, so that's fine. That's okay, perfectly all right. Good, and you're just normal recon, you're recon and ground attack, perfectly all right. Good, I like it. So, yeah, that's basically it in terms of our air setup. Of course, uh, in addition to the two naval things uh, that are sort of the running orders down there, let's execute that and see what's going to happen there. Because I would really, really like to bring down... Uh, the German ability to produce synthetic fuels and oil, of course. They've recovered a little bit, but they are certainly um, stretched over there in, in terms of their resources. So I think it's going to be great if we can uh, reduce their ability there a little bit. Yeah, look look at these losses that are piling up here. And it's rare to see that the Germans actually take more losses uh, during this phase than we do. So that's very nice to see. And a lot of them are happening in air combat. So I hope that that is a sign uh, that we are seeing that they are a little bit uh, exhausted in terms of their manpower pools and, and their experienced pilot pools. It's going to be very tough for them to, to come back from this. I mean, this is a lot of these people will be recovered because they are being shot down over Germany um, and over Axis territory. But still, it is, I think, going to be an interesting way to go forward here. Interesting to see so many actions being flown over here. And it look, looks like our losses are piling up here towards the end of this phase, which is interesting. I would not have expected that. Anyway, uh, let's have a look over here. So, air and the missions, we are shooting down 17 enemy night fighters. That's that's very nice to see. Happy about that. We are losing one. 
probably in operational losses. This is night fighting after all. Bomber Command losing quite a couple of aircraft over here. More than 60 aircraft lost uh, against 35 of the Germans. That's not great. But at least you're doing a little bit of damage here against the V, v Weapon Factory. You're doing some damage here against some manpower. A little bit against the vehicle yards. Really not that much against Cologne itself. Oh no, there, there, there we go. So the attack on day 5 here was pretty effective at 18 points of damage. That is nice to see. Oh yeah, and the attack on day 3 also, 24% there. That's nice to see. Yeah, okay, so I think all in all pretty good attack here on Cologne. Losses could be a little bit better, but then again, the Lancaster bomber just doesn't, doesn't defend as well as some of uh, the Flying Fortresses do. You guys, over here, you were attacking the rail yards. That looks pretty successful to me. You shouldn't really try to attack the manpower in Paris, if, if you would please. That's actually pretty successful. That's that's a 90% damage over here. Well, 88, and then we've got the 12 remaining one. Okay, so that actually saturated on the first day. We're taking a couple of casualties here. Probably operational or flak, I don't know. But that's alright. We can't do much about either, so that's fine. Eighth Air Force, you guys did take a lot of losses. 90 aircraft, well 100 aircraft, 150 shot down on the German side though. So, Jesus. Just look at these types of battles. What is going on over here? Is that one decisive battle or is it just this enormous series here of battles? It's an enormous series, but look at how many planes the Germans are losing. These are BF-109, so they are nimble fighters. Yeah, these guys were patrolling. And you were being engaged by, interestingly, no, the Mustangs. The Mustangs, my friends. Ah, I'm so happy to have these guys. Damage dealt here. This is what's shooting them down. The Mosquitoes are doing fine. Happy to have them. But it's really the Mustangs here that, that are doing the damage. And these are not inexperienced pilots. So, yeah, happy to see that. A couple of uh, Fokker Wolves here. More beef 109s. Yeah, you guys did kill a lot, but... On, on the other hand, I mean, these these are extremely experienced pilots here. 98. These four losses, they will be hard on the Germans. And it's the Mustangs doing doing the killing here. Really, really happy to have the Mustangs. Really, really happy. Right. You were doing damage here at Merseburg. 46%. That's lovely. Sides, Bolin. Oh, there are a couple of more locations. Probably didn't even see all of them. Yeah, pretty much wrecked all of these locations, though. That's lovely to see. I mean, very heavy fighting here on day two, but after that, looks pretty fine to me. And I mean, 150 German shot down, that's that's really good. Ninth Air Force, you guys are probably doing a little bit better here. Ah, tough to see that we are losing eight recon aircraft over here. Well, it's interesting to see that they are truly actually challenging us over here. So they are sending in quite a couple of fighters here, but it again looks like they're not doing too well. Look at that, these Fokker Wolves, they lost 16 against our Thunderbolts. That's interesting to see, and they are actually experienced. Well, I mean, the losses were mostly on the ones that are not quite as experienced, but man, 90, 97 here. So many Germans dead, I like it. Right, and how did you fare? Yeah, the ports pretty much wrecked some of these rail yards, pretty heavily damaged. Nice to see. And the losses were sustainable, I think. Only seven losses, that's that's fine. Happy about that, actually. But it does tell us that we should probably send out recon, uh, that we sh should send out um, escorts with our recon aircraft over here. Yeah, these Fokker Wolves are not necessarily great against, uh, these Mustangs are not great against Fokker Wolves. So yeah, if we are flying over France, we should probably escort them. 15th Air Force, you guys did lose around 11 planes. It looks like you were being engaged. But still, this damage on the oil production here looks pretty nice to me. Yeah, looking good. Looking good, and I think we can take 17 planes shot down. That's not a big deal. 6th Group RAF, you guys were not being engaged. So these V-Weapon sites... Pretty much took them out, like, lovely. And then we've got all of these guys flying air superiority. 
So you guys have got what? You've got the Mosquito Fighter Bombers. So you're flying the deep penetration missions uh, over the Ruhr area here. Not night intruders, but just normal patrols. patrols. Yeah, you're flying pretty low at 15,000 feet because the Mosquitoes don't have superchargers, I think. So this is pretty much the ideal altitude for you. And we're shooting down a lot of them. Jesus, this was a really, really lucky engagement for us, I think. 27 shot down and that was like 97 on the German side. That's a very nice matchup. Number 12th group, you are flying, I do believe, uh, Spitfire 8s, yeah. And you're flying over, over the Cologne area where you're stumbling into a large, large number of Germans. And you do slaughter them. Jesus. And it's not just the... the well, the ME-210 is, is one of the worst worst planes of the war, but it's not even them, them taking the losses. I mean, yeah, some be ME-410s, but it mostly seems to be... No, these are also actually Sesturas. Still, nice to see us, us doing so much damage here. 32 against 16, I think this is, this is pretty okay. Yeah, we do have pretty nice experience. These guys are losing some experience here definitely at these types of losses. Lovely, I like it. And there's another air combat here that goes pretty well for us. Yeah, well it is a couple of, well it's about half half single engine and a little bit more unwieldy Sesturus. But it's good to take down the Sesturus too. And another great air combat here. The RA have had a very good week here my friends in the week of February 5th. Okay, and you guys basically did nothing. Uh, you guys, we do care about you. Second bombardment group. Okay, Blackhammer being pretty much nicely torn down over here, but at what cost? 36 Ascold fighters and 39 bombers. Okay, that's not that's that's a little bit over the top, I think. I, I mean, 75 losses against 20. That's not ideal. I dislike to see that. That's that's just not great. And these are operational losses or what? Yeah, these are operational losses. That's a little bit harsh. I mean, at these distances, it's it's a far way, but still. Yeah, it's pretty much at the edge of of their ability to do anything. So that's a little bit unfortunate. Ground attacks, how are you guys doing? Interdiction goes up sometimes a little bit. No, it's hard to see. Well, we didn't lose that much, so that's okay. And 12th Bomber Command didn't lose that much either, I believe. No, you guys did. Why? 74 planes lost here. Oh dear. Oh dear. You guys were coming in unescorted and I would not have believed I would not have believed that you'd be taking so many losses here where's that it's over here you should have been you should have been escorted How come you did take so many losses? Yeah, the Germans did wait for us here and they intercepted us and they intercepted as well. 18 Mitchells probably. Mitchells and Wellingtons. That's that's a hard loss. We can replace them, but this is the one unlucky thing in this in this phase over here. So, you know what? I think we are fine with that. So, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's uh, turn all of this off here and see what we can then do in terms of the ground phase of this little war. Right, so situation down here is okay. I think you guys are on a supply depot. I would like to disrupt that. I would also like to come through over here. Why are you guys actually so low in terms of combat strength? Your morale seems pretty all right. You could probably rest up a little bit. Oh, you are in reserve. Alton Reserve. 
But why are you only down to one? You guys are in supply. You're not short of anything, are you? Ground heavy mud. Oh yeah, that's it. This light mud only. This is only light mud too. Oh dear. So we are just sitting here in the in the mark. While it's so much better over on the other side there. Well, that does mean it's going to be a little bit tougher to actually try to break through over there. Right, let's try to take the Canadians forward. I think you could come forward. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Okay, Canadians, you go forward. And then you guys... You guys are motorized, right? Yeah, okay, so that's alright, good. So, Canada. Can you do a deliberate attack? You can. So I think, th since you probably can't do much else, let's do a deliberate attack and let's do do it against this position here. You're a little bit weaker and I do hope that we're going to disrupt this rail line there. Okay, we did push them out. That's lovely to see. Okay, can the motorized guys move into there? They can, but they can't move any further than that. So that's a little bit unfortunate. How about the tanks? You guys can get over here. Okay, let's do it. You guys are going to get there. You guys are going to come over here. We've got a nice little line set up over here. You guys are looking a little bit weak, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, we are going to build up the rail line all the way to over here. Because that means we should probably be getting some some stuffy into this depot. So that's fine. Good, I like it. And that basically does cut off all of these supplies to these units down here. Right, and because you're not sitting in the heavy mud anymore, you are actually doing much better now. We are building up some fortifications here, so I'm feeling relatively confident that we're going to win over there if they would attack. So that's pretty much all right. You know what? Let's get you into the depot. We really, really shouldn't lose over here. We could might maybe try to bring someone over there, but I think it's all right. Yeah, so they've got one depot over here, 33,000 uh, supplies and another 33,000 down there. They must, they must try to evacuate that. That is n definitely not a sustainable position that they've got down here. Right, you guys are having control over someone over there. You guys down here, you're a little bit um, set up against these guys. That's fine. And you're a little bit weird too. Right, I suppose I could try to break, bring you over here somehow. And guard against this flank. I would actually try to achieve a breakthrough over here and, and just threaten these guys with encirclement. I don't think that is something that we can achieve. But it would certainly feel nice to try to, to threaten them there. Well, maybe I should have bombarded you guys here as well. Right. What I think what we can do is take basically this American core here. Right. Let's bring up the headquarter unit here. The 5th Army. You're fine. And then you guys are all in the heavy mod. Light mod. So once you're going over here... That should be much better. This is also light mod. So, yeah. What we're going to do then is take, let's say, you because you're a little bit slower. Bring you over here. That's all right. And then 4.3 against 1.8. They don't have fortifications, right? So, let's try to do a deliberate attack over here. Maybe that's going to be enough. Yeah, it is. We're also going to get the city. That's lovely to see. Okay, wait a minute. I should actually get some messages about this. Right. Okay, you can advance further and try to push them back a little bit more. I think it's probably not going to be... A, we're not going to be able to dislodge these guys here. Although it would certainly be nice. But we can try to attack these guys again. Ooh, they're holding out. That's unfortunate. Yeah, they are now in the mountains, aren't they? No, at least in rough terrain, so... Sort of the same difference there. Right, attacking you is going to be difficult because of this river line over here. Do we have any fast unit around over here? So let's look at you. Yeah, you can't push through here because this is again mountainous terrain. You could try to come down here. This would be sort of suitable terrain for you. You could try to squeeze your way through there. 
Well, I'm not feeling quite confident in in that because we do need to keep some units around. Also, we've got uh, actually some some air units here, so we must move these guys up without uh, reinforcing first. Right. Well, what have we got? We've got you guys. You can try to push through here. Well, this is actually clear terrain. Is the thing. You can't do another attack, can you? No. You guys, curiously enough, do belong to this American division. Yeah, but you guys can also move up this way. Well, we can try to move here. You guys can try to move there as well, and we could try to push them out. Question is, does that does that do anything for us? We could then try to get into this direction, at least. Okay, so let's do it. You guys are going to come here. You guys are going to come here. And both of you here are going to do... Uh, Sorry, just sorry. You and you. You. You're going to do a hasty attack. We are pushing them out very convincingly as well. So that's lovely to see. Good. We can't, don't have anyone to push through there now though, do we? No. Ah, well that's unfortunate. Yeah, not even these Polish guys, even though they're very fast. Can you at least move down there? No, you can't. Oh well, that's a shame. Anyone? No, basically you've got all no movement points left. Right, let's get you into here then. So that we've got at least some encirclement there. You guys are going to move here. That's fine. Can you do something over here? Well, you can do something. It's just not going to get us anywhere. Have you got a depot over there? No, you don't. I would like to push up here. But that probably does mean that I do need some more units over here. I wouldn't really like to do too much there. Can we shorten the front line here in the south in any way? Are oh, you just the army? You guys are fine. We do have some gaps here already, so I don't want to overdo that. You guys are stuck in the heavy mark? Yeah, that's unfortunate. We could try to push them out. It wouldn't really shorten the front line though. It would just give us access to that depot. And honestly, if they are going to keep over here for now, then I think that does increase our chance long term of, of uh, bunching them in there. So probably not going to do that right now, but I would like to keep the, to get hold of that mountain here. Um, and getting hold of that mountain does mean... Do we have anything down there? No, we don't. Right, okay, that still does mean that you guys come over here. You guys move up a little bit. Like over there. We didn't want to move the headquarter, but that's fine then. Right, and you guys move over there. Okay, that's alright. You guys can also try to make your way down here. Not really. Well, that does leave you. Alright, it's a little bit awkward, but... I guess it's fine to, to just keep hold of this line over here on this flank. Right, that's going to be okay. And that's going to be a mess over here. Right, how is the rail line looking over here? Well, this is all disrupted due to these guys. It's fine though. We do have a good line over here. And I do think we want to build that up to PSR. So, yeah, let's deal with these guys here then first. We've got a unit over here. Well, this is a little bit awkward. I think we do need to exchange you guys here to, to this headquarter. Don't we? Yeah. Let's get you into here. This is the 8th US Corps. You guys are going to be assigned to the 8th US Corps. That's alright. Yeah, that's fine. And you guys too. Okay, that, that does sort of work for me. Still a little bit awkward, but we can disentangle that later on. Right, and you guys have just basically got these two guys to cover, so let's move you somewhat in the middle over here. And I suppose you guys can get over here as well, why not? Okay, fine. Good, okay, that does work. And then we need to pop these guys over here. 
I would love to break through over here. You guys in stock in the mod? Yeah, heavy mod. Heavy mod over here as well. I'd also like to get into Florence. The Moroccans would make sense over here in the actual mountains. We could also try to move them over here and, and cover basically this approach. Threaten them a little bit more. There are some mountains over here, you know what, I think that does make sense. Right, let's get the Moroccans over there, that also blocks them from crossing into here over these mountains. I think they should not be able to do that. That's fine. Right, and then you guys do belong to this, this group down there, but I think you'll be alright. Let's do send you into Florence. I would love to get that airfield. And I do think there's a depot as well, or at least there was one, so that's alright. Okay, that does mean that we're in a slightly awkward position over here with these guys. So, what I suppose that we can do is heavy mod, light mod. So we do want to come from here, we don't really want to attack from there. Okay, let's get you over there. I think that might actually be enough. Right, let's get you in there as well, and then we're going to do a hasty attack with you. Retreat and surrender, lovely. That's 2,500 Germans gone. Not the biggest deal, but still nice. Okay, and then you guys, if you move over there, then at least you can do another hasty attack. I don't think you can, though. No, you can, so that's lovely, okay. Both of, ooh, this is probably heavy mark. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, now if I take both of you, that would not work. Because these guys are now in light mark. Jesus. Yeah, we do need to basically kick you out, though. Right, what have we got? We've got the Polish Infantry Division. But we've also got you, actually, so aren't you enough? Let's do a deliberate attack over here. I do want to clear them out. Three point... Yeah, that's, that's lovely. And that's another 9,000 Germans gone. Lovely. And we've got all of this territory here, so that's good, too. Let's move up a couple of units then, because we definitely do want to defend um, this area up over here. Let's move you into there, that's fine. You guys can move all over here. Well, I suppose we're going to keep slightly towards the left over here with this uh, core. Yeah, you're fine over there. Let's move this paratrooper brigade somewhere into your rear. That's alright, and that basically leaves all of our tanks here ready to strike at some of these guys. Light mod, light mod, that's all okay. Right, let's move you guys to the front here. And we just might, just might be able to do something over here. New Zealand mixed infantry. Well, I suppose these guys don't actually have that much in terms of anti-tank support, do they? So let's actually see what we've got over here. 7.4 against 3.5. I wonder, I wonder if we use another tank. It's a very heavy concentration of force, but if we take all of you and do a hasty attack over here. Yes! 3.6. That's actually a little bit more than we than we needed, strictly speaking. But I do think. Come on, I just need one of you to advance. Yes! Okay, so we are in this area now, and this is light woods, this is rough, but at least we've secured part of this mountain pass. So I'm very happy about that. Our Polish fence could actually start to make our way a little bit more towards Bologna, actually, here. I think that would work, my friends. This is snow, this is light woods and snow. Are we feeling fine with this flank? They could try to cross over here, but it would be very foolish of them, wouldn't it? Well, the Germans have been known to try some foolish things, so let's not get ahead of ourselves here. But we have some troops here with, with some movement points remaining, so I don't think we need to be too concerned. So yeah, let's actually send our Polish friends to the front here. Let's do a hasty attack on this unit, we are routing it even. That's lovely. Can we advance? No, we can't. That is unfortunate. I would have loved to take this hex. 
but it's not to be. And I don't think there's anything we can do to advance further. You can't even do a hasty attack against these guys. You could, but it just wouldn't get us anywhere. Yeah, you can't advance through there. How about this? Didn't we have another tank over here? No, we just moved it here, didn't we? Yeah. Well, you guys could try to make your way through there, but just really, again, it's not going to get you anywhere. And I do think we need to got this front line here as well. Yeah. Right, you could potentially come through here if we got rid of these guys. But for now, that just doesn't seem too likely either, so... Yeah, let's send you on this flank. I think you'll be fine there. Getting two over here would also be lovely, but I don't think we need to be too aggressive. We don't want to give them too much of a chance to dig in. Uh, but I don't think they actually have that for now, so that's all right. I could try to make it their way through over here to Luca. I kind of doubt whether they're going to be that... But they do like to disrupt us in any way possible. And who's to blame them? But... We can't break down any of these units, no. No, that's just not a possibility. Okay, so you guys could get into Luca. And probably what we're going to do is we're going to send these guys here back to Pisa. Sort of minimize the chance that we're going to be encircled over here. Yeah, that's all right over there. That's okay over here. It's a bit of weird uh, a defense, but I think it's all right. Okay, let's. What we're going to do is we're going to send you forward over here, and then we're going to send the Italians back over here. So that these guys are behind the river. They're guarding our flank. I think that's fine. Yeah, and then what we can do is you're fine where you are. We could actually get over here. Could also try to get into these mountains. Don't think it's really worth it though. Yeah, let's stay over there. Let's send you guys up to Luca. I think that's also pretty nice here. We might ask you to rest and repair, but we're definitely going to exchange a little bit the order here, the ordering of these guys. So you guys are all part of the 5th Corps, aren't you? Yeah. So, 5th Corps, that's... They, these are all your guys. Okay, fine. You're part of the 2nd Corps. 2nd Corps actually has some space left here, so let's make you part of the 2nd Corps. You're United States, and I typically don't really like mixing you, but that's fine. Uh, you're going, also going to be part of that 2nd Corps. There we go. Okay, so you're now sort of compactly trying to defend all of that. That's all right. Let's get over there. Fine. I like it. It's it's a weird, weird attack plan there, but I think it's all right. Nothing that we can do or would want to do down here. No. Well, except for attacking you guys, but I think we'll be all right. I'm feeling pretty confident about this entire line over here. Yeah. Looking good. There's a little bit of a gap here. It's not too serious, but let's try to get the 5th Army out of the way. So that it's not being sort of weirdly pushed out or anything. That's fine. Yeah, and I doubt that they would be able to do that, but still. Let's be prudent here. Then we've got all of you. It would be lovely to attack further. We could of course attack these guys here, but I don't really see the point in doing that, so I think it's alright. You guys are fine, you'll definitely hold. You guys are not necessarily great over here. And that is because of the heavy mark. But there's a there's light mod over here too. Okay, let's get you over there then. You're doing all right, ish. But you know what? At fifty percent, um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna ask you guys to refit. Do source a little bit more supplies. That's fine. You guys doing all right? I think you guys are doing fine too. Right. So let's build up that rail line. Right. So we've got a nearly complete rail line from Rome uh, towards Pisa. So yeah, let's do that I like it right where do we want to build it do we want to build it this way or that way Pff, doesn't probably matter well let's uh, do actually go swing by the port over here I think that's 
actually a little bit more uh, relevant right that's good and then we've got you over here you you can't move any further anyway so that's okay and then we've got you guys we could build up this line there could make a small connection over here do we have any depots we've got one in Livorno and you're sourcing your supply from the port there how about our industry here so you are rail yard one rail yard two over here and that's a little bit more interesting then and pizza itself oh only one two florence maybe rail yard three so that might be an interesting place to build another depot it's also pretty forward so i do like that idea yeah so maybe actually build up this rail line here where does that leave us? Does it leave that anywhere exposed to you guys breaking through or anything? I hope not, but let's see. Losing you would, would certainly be very terrible. Okay, can't build over here, can I? Oh no, unfortunate. But yeah, at the very least, you know, we are getting some supplies to the front line. You're definitely going to uh, be withdrawing next time around. You guys are fine. And yeah, we've also got a nice rail depot over here now. I'm slightly concerned about these positions here, but I think we'll be alright. So, let's not worry too much. 15th Army Group, I guess you guys can advance a little bit. Let's send you over here. Who are you? You're just some repair guys. Uh, I do think we have some Polish guys down here that we're going to definitely move up. Yeah, another core and an armored brigade. Not the strongest unit, but I still think pretty nice. So, yeah. We should see... We should see... I mean, I'm very happy about this over here. Bologna. That's great to see. That's great to see. Uh, let's uh, get rid of these views here. If we can encircle Rimini... So, basically, we've got a nice movement right here, right? So, we've got all of these guys here at least threatened. They're not pocketed. But we are threatening them. We've cut off their entire rail supply. So they would be prudent to pull out of here. I don't think they will do that. I don't know whether they will do that. But if they don't, we at least threaten to cut them off over here. It's tough terrain, so I'm not too excited about that. They can defend over here. Uh, but even if they do, we've got another way of encircling them over here. We've got most of our tanks here. So I think that might be a very decent way to, to go about this. We could also actually try to push you out, but why would we? No, I think we are fine over here. Good. So, I know it's been a long episode, but thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, do hope you liked our strikes over here, except the one... Except actually the one in the hills over here. We lost a lot of good pilots there. But other than that, I'm pretty happy about how this went. So, yeah, looking forward to see you guys next time around. Bye-bye.